All right, information. Hello, information. Information returns. If you are involved in a bartering transaction, you may have to file either of the following forms. You've got form 1099B, proceeds from broker and barter exchange transactions. You got form 1099 miscellaneous, and you've got the, so these are the, the reporting forms for the bartering situation because you still have an income situation, similar kind of process that you would have uh, if you're paying someone, the IRS wants to pressure the payer to report the income to the person that received the income to double check that they report their income. So similar kind of process here. So for information about these forms, you can see in the general instructions for certain information returns. Real estate rents. So if you are a real estate dealer who receives income from renting real property on or on real property or an owner of a hotel, motel, etc., who provides services, maid services, etc., for guests, report the rental income and expenses on Schedule C. Notice the real estate gets a little kind of uh, kind of confusing because you might have like rental property, which you might report on a Schedule E. And the rental property, however, uh, might be different than if you like own a hotel, for example, because if you own a hotel, you're actively involved in the business. You're not as subject to those passive activity rules. Whereas if you have rental property, then it's, it's a Schedule E, which is quite similar to a Schedule C, in essence, another income statement related to the rental property, but uh, it's sometimes gonna have different like uh, passive income rules. Whereas if you're Schedule C, you're act you have an active business that happens to deal with real estate like a hotel, then you might report it on the Schedule C because it's similar to other businesses and you don't have, you're not subject to some of those, those passive rules, which are usually negative to, to to you for taxes. So once again, if you are a real estate dealer who receives income from renting real property or an owner of a hotel, motel, etc., who provides services like maid services, that's one of the defining characteristics here that you're actively involved in whatnot. For guests, report the rental income and expense on Schedule C rather than you know Schedule E. So if you if you are not a real estate dealer or the kind of owner described in preceding sentence report rental income and expenses on schedule e for for more information see publication 527 residential rental property real estate dealer so you are a real estate dealer if you are engaged in the business of selling real estate to customers with the purpose of making a profit from those sales Rent, uh, rent you receive from real estate held for sale to customers is subject to self-employment tax then, which is a big hit on the self-employment tax. However, rent you receive from real estate held for speculation or investment is not subject to self-employment tax. So another kind of uh, interesting or messy kind of situation here is that if we're talking about business income, if it's, if it's a for-profit type of active business, you're likely then going to be dealing with not only, as we saw in prior presentations, the federal income tax, but possibly getting hit with the self-employment tax, which is kind of similar to payroll taxes, meaning it's your self-employment, social security, and Medicare taxes. So, so then whenever you're thinking, is this income? If it's income, then you, the next question is, is it subject to self-employment tax, which is a big, could be a big tax, right? On, on the income or not. 